I will help you get a really OP start in Starfield and tell you about and let you take care of some important things that will help you throughout your whole playthrough. Let's start with the Mark 1 spacesuit that you maybe already spotted in the basement of the lodge that opens up very early in the main story and you can easily enter it from the entrance to your right like this, go down and then also turn right again. And then in the back room with the painting, you will find a mannequin. So at first you're like, okay, to be able to open this, I need to hack Master Lock, so which is possible with rank 3 of the security skill. So that will take a while to get. It is possible though, then do the puzzle and you can get the amazing armor. But there is something in the game right now that they might totally fix. So you want to do it fast and it just lets you like bypass the lock to already get it. And it's amazing to get early on. Like even later on in the game, when I got it, it upgraded everything for me in terms of stats. And I think it looks pretty cool as well. So what you basically want to do is hover your cursor over the right side of the door like this. So near the chest of the suit. And then you will namely be able to select the mannequin and skip a ride through the door. Loot everything and then bam, you got the full suit without opening the door. Probably a glitch. Shout out to Rudy on TikTok for finding this. And it works, by the way, for every suit that is behind the gloss. So if you find one elsewhere, you can also do this tactic. I will let you know in the pinned comment if they fix this. Then you should just like upgrade your security skill. And actually a fast way to do that is by going to the ATMs near the Gal Banks. These all count towards one and they can pretty quickly level up this skill. Of course, you do need some digi picks, which you can buy at random shops. And also make sure that you are hidden so you do not get like a bounty or get caught when stealing from the ATMs. With high security skill you can of course open up way more master locks like storage crates that you come across while exploring the galaxy or in the cities you find a lot of master locks as well and by the way a pro tip for these locks I actually learned this way too late but the ring of the lock will actually turn blue if the key that you are currently selecting will fit in it. So that should make finding the right combo and kind of calculate where you want to put each key a bit easier. And by the way, if you found some other great master locks, let me know in the comments because I can't wait to open them and I'm just getting started. So please, if you like the video so far, leaving a like would be awesome and subscribe for way more spoiler-free Starfield videos like this. Another thing you can already do early is steal weapons from characters and these can include some very good ones. And call me a bad person, but it's really satisfying to pickpocket people or completely skip quest steps by stealing the key outright. You can also get quite some money, like some MP NPCs have close to a thousand credits that you can then easily grab. And many NPCs will carry med packs, so after like being able to easily steal them, you will never run out of med packs again. We'll tell you about an amazing weapon you want to pickpocket from a certain NPC, but first we will have to successfully upgrade our theft skill to rank 4, which is pretty easy to do. You namely have to successfully pickpocket NPCs with 5 for rank 2, 10 for rank 3, and 20 for the final rank rank 4. So what I did is go to the entrance of Aquila that you find of course in the Cheyenne system and just steal from everyone there by crouching behind them. The stealth indicator does not matter here, instead you will see a big red warning if the NPC will detect you, but otherwise it depends on the percentage next to the item with the higher the percentage, the higher the chance that you are able to steal the item. So what I do is quick save in between every successful pickpocket, so you can over time work towards the theft challenge. Worth noting is that you only need to steal one item from an NPC that will then count towards the challenge, so pick the one with the highest chance of success. And actually going to New Atlantis is really fast as well because there are of course a lot of citizens, especially ones that stand around are great for this. And then before you know it, if you of course have the skill points as well, you have a theft rank 4, which means that we can now steal weapons from NPCs. And Seth Tells reached out to me in the comments, just like you can, that he stole a very powerful gun from Emma, who is in the rock on Aquila. You'll meet her also very early on in the story. So crouch behind her and then save because you only have a 21% chance to succeed. So if you don't, you want to reload that save. Once you are successful though, you have this fully modded Grendel with some crazy mods. That otherwise cost a ton to craft. But 
now they are already yours. Like this weapon slaps, especially early on in the game, and because it's a Grendel, ammo is also super easy to get from enemies. So I've been using this weapon a lot. I also just discovered a guaranteed way to get another one of my favorite weapons that you can already get early. More on that in a moment. And of course, if you found other NPCs that hold great weapons that we can steal, let me know via the input at drafter.com email, social media, or in the comments. I tried a lot already. Wasn't really lucky, so maybe you got some input. Now the downside of these stolen weapons, just like the micro gun that I talked about in my Amazing Things You Want to Get Early video, also check that out via the link in the video description, is that you will lose them if you are caught stealing, so again, make sure you are hidden, or if a certain faction puts a bounty on your head, and then of course when traveling to their systems, you will be scanned and then have to pay up and turn everything with the red icon next to it in. Well, luckily there are ways to get it back, like for the United Colonies. So the UC in New Atlantis from your ship just runs straight like this. They can get to their security office and they will find the stolen items locker. Go hidden and then with security rank 2, you can break this open and get back all the stuff that they took from you, which is kind of crazy. Like also when you decide to pay up the bounty if you're being caught by them, you will go to this security office so they can also just go to the locker and grab your stuff. But there is an even easier way to get rid of your bounty by simply paying it without losing any items. And for this we want to start an outpost or go to an already built one. Choose a system that is not being controlled by a faction and a planet with no extreme conditions. I went for Gunnibu and then Gunnibu 3 over here. Put a marker on the desert, land it and now with the scanner you can start putting down the beacon and then go all the way to miscellaneous to see the self-service bounty clearance. Place it down and then just interact with it and pay the bounty price and then be done with it. And then the next time you go to the system of a certain faction, you will not be like caught, so you can keep your stolen items forever. Zero wire is required to build this bounty clearance board. If you don't have it, go to New Atlantis from your ship, run straight, and then you will see the mercantile vendor where you can actually buy it. And you can also buy Digipix here, by the way. Now, another good place to know about and to go to early on to get OP is in the Wolf system, close to Sol and Alpha Centauri. Then go to the Den Space Station over here, dock there, board, and then go to the shop on your left hand side, which is right here where you can sell all your stolen items. So if you've been stealing a lot like I told you to do, then you can sell all that stuff here. You can even steal the shopkeeper's gun and then sell it back to him because why not? And it's also a great spot for if you got contraband, which you will totally find at some point and you see it thanks to the yellow icon next to it. But if you travel with this on board and then go to a system being controlled by a faction, then you will get caught and also have to pay up and lose all your stolen goods. So that's why it's smart that the moment you have this yellow icon like these items to go to the den first and then sell it there. And you can get quite a lot of money from this and if the shopkeeper's money is low then just go to the bed of your ship for two full days. So sleep for 24 hours and then again for 24 hours then the shop vendor resets with brand new money. Another pro tip is to when entering the den save your game and then check the shop because if you then load that save you just made the shop will be completely different so then you can like go for certain items that you want. And then you want to search for the Beowulf rifle which is really one of the best weapons in the game that just one hit kills most enemies if you got the single shot variant which you should totally look for. And I'm not sure if it's linked to your level but this is the first time at this like den shop that I actually saw the Beowulf for sale. So totally try the safe tactic, get the Beowulf when it's available, even if it's like the regular variant. Although you want to go for like a modded variant if you can find one and then you're really good to go. Subscribe for way more Starfield tips and tricks if you haven't already. A like would of course really help me out. And again, that amazing things you want to get early video with also a free ship. You can watch that video by clicking on the screen. I will speak to you soon. Goodbye.